What's a poet with no words? What's a dancer with no rhythm? What's a performer with no passion? What's a black man without a gun? Apparently the answer to all of these questions are the same as a judicial system without comprehension of fair justice. A police officer without regard for human life, see, it is nothing. See, we are nothing to no one. This country has been tiring me past exhaustion. Not to say that racism happens only here. Not to say that racists only live here. Because racism is everywhere. Racists are anywhere. But the words police officer, unarmed black man, woman, child, shot and dead, congregate in too many sentences, too much here. Who are they serving? Who are they protecting? Why is that there's so many dead black names following hashtags? Why is it that melanin is synonymous with targets? Where is the justice? How can we stop this? I don't have the answer to any of these questions. I don't have the words. I wish I did. You know, sometimes I wish I really was Superman. Trayvon would still be sipping sweet tea after the bullets that were meant for him bounced off of me. Sandra would still be making awareness videos, not laying dead in a jailhouse floor. I'd be able to hear both Eric and George say that they can't breathe and save them. I'd bust in that bedroom and stop those bullets from burying in Brianna. Hell, I'd even buy a CD from Alton after removing those officers away from him. This happens entirely too often. See, see, it's been happening. See, my father been fearing for my life since I was 17, and he told me not to wear my hat backwards and my do rag while driving. You know what? to cause problems, he said. I look at him now and say, does it matter? Black lives don't matter to them, but I'm not afraid to die the same way that they all did. I know that I will be missed. I know that I will be loved, and I know that it was my time, and I know that I was innocent, but I'm really afraid that my death will just be another notch on a policeman's belt, that he'll get paid for murdering me, that he'll get to go back to his family and sit down in the comfort of his own home, that if he does go to court, it'll only be acquitted and back on the job with the potential to kill another one of our brothers and sisters. I'm afraid that my death won't change a thing. But something has to change, right? I pray that it does. Matter of fact, I'm praying that I'm even alive to be a part of it. But if you ask me how, I'm sorry, but I can't answer you. Because when it comes to that, I am a poet with no